guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy 7. This is episode 54, and we should currently be going to North Corral to go and retrieve the huge materia, but I'm afraid I have a bit of very, very bad news. I'm actually currently very far into the future. I say very far. I'm currently like two or three episodes into the future, and I went to uh, to try and recover. Well, I say recover. I went to try and encode up this particular episode, and unfortunately, the video file got absolutely corrupted. I'm not sure what's going on. The video is 20 gigs big. The file is 20 gigs big. It should have all its information in there. Unfortunately, it just will not play for me. And I I have no idea why. No idea why whatsoever. Uh, it used to be that I'd be able to like do a whole bunch of um, processing to be able to get the information out of that particular file. Everything that I know and would normally do, every trick that I can think of, just doesn't work. I, I have tried many, many, many programs and it's not working for me. So I'm going to put this quick sort of three, four minute video, maybe it might even stretch to seven minutes, who knows, explaining what we did. So the first thing I did was run all the way up to the North Reactor, North Corral Reactor, and I found out a few things on the way, uh, and somewhere around here I should be able to demonstrate what it was that I found out. Hopefully somewhere around here, okay, cool. The, 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 in fact, this is it, this is exactly the thing that I needed to show you. So if we, we use Barrett here, and we grenade blow, we can't grenade blow uh, only one of them, okay. I'm going to bio that guy at the back there if I can. Uh, we're then going to use Sid and Demi 2 on one of these needle kisses. Bam, just like that. And then Sid's going to come in with the morph afterwards. That should hopefully work out. Ooh, that, that wasn't the, the best. That was not the best. Uh, maybe we can use Barrett again to try and do some other weird things. Let's just, like, bio one this guy on the side. Barrett's kind of in the way right now. Uh, I'm going to demi this guy up again if we can. That morph, not not the best timing. Not the best timing. I want to, in particular, show you what happens to these tiny little birds when we morph them. Okay, here we go. Demi 2. This should do it for me. Okay, 60. That's good. That's good. Uh, so now, if Vincent comes along and does his good old morphing... Any moment now, this one, pop, there we go, that mod turned into a remedy, and for those of you who are not aware, remedy is a cure-all, literally, like, whatever status ailment you have, it will cure. So I spent a little bit of time going around collecting those guys up, uh, that, that was definitely the next thing I did, ooh, bulk plume, that's pretty nice, uh, until eventually we made it. To this section here. Now, this is one screen off of being at the actual main reactor. Uh, all the way up, I had been kind of saving my limit breaks. I thought I knew that something major was coming up, so I decided that it was worth saving up all my magics and limits going uh, forwards here. I didn't. I didn't have a fight here. I'll, I'll just say that this is not something that happened. So we go all the way up here and I decided to go running in and as you can see nothing triggers this time but when we did this a train came pulling out and we were like whoa and stood to the side and off the train went and my guys were like that must be the one with the huge material and Sid was like yeah I've got a way to solve this and we didn't have a fight. So Sid went running in here and grabbed himself a train and came coming out and Barrett was like whoa I didn't know you could drive this and he was like I'm Sid Highwind how dare you question me I can drive anything uh, and eventually we got ourselves uh, parallel with the other train which now that I like walk down this track is a little weird as there's only one track on the go hmm interesting to say the least but anyway we faced a series of uh, boss fights fighting down the train there were six carriages each carriage had a progressively harder boss to fight uh, let's just do this like this there were techno soldiers and normal soldiers there was a toxic cloud beast uh, generally uh, we had uh, actually a pretty good time uh, back in back in the midst of time when I was playing this game casually as a teenager it was one of the harder bits of the game but for the first time ever in my entire life I managed to fight my way through all the bosses get to the front of the train and stop the train before it ran into North Corral. And normally my train plows into North Corral uh, and we'll explain more when I get there so the train was ripping down here and I had to do this weird thing while I was pressing up on the control pad and the Y or triangle button depending on what format you're used to. Uh, and then down and that A or X button again depending on what format you're used to. Together uh, in synchronicity. And we managed to stop the train before it came plowing through here. Which is what I'm used to. Like normally the train comes plowing through here. But uh, 
eventually we, we stopped the train, we got off, everyone was like, oh my god, you saved the town from the evil Shinra, we, how can we ever thank you? And then they turned around and went, kid, what is it, is it this kid? Let's get in here. Yeah, this kid here, he came out. Uh, when I grow up, I'm going to travel the world and collect all the glowing stones. Yeah, that's what I'm after anyway. Uh, you may remember first time when we were here, there was like something glowing in the background. It was like, oh, I want to get it. And then, and then he managed to get hold of it. It was actually the Ultima material. So we went outside and we were like, hey, what does this Ultima material do? I think I've even got it currently equipped on, yeah, on Barrett. You can see that. Actually been leveling it up a little bit. Uh, turns out we can't use it until we get more levels on it. And that's basically what I did. So, um, first off, thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I am, like, actually, honestly, guys, I am so gutted that I had to do this. Uh, the, the most gutting thing is that I'm looking at the video file. It has all the information. There is 20 gigs of information in there. Obviously, it has got everything recorded. It just doesn't want to repack for me. I've tried various different bits of, pro of processing software that I've got access to, and it's just, it's just not doing it. Actual sad. But anyway, I will see you next time when we're going to go do Fort Condor. Bye!